Morning VC, uh, I'm Ethan from the Music Lab 101, and it's been a while. A long while, I have to say, I haven't made a video since... forever. But it's a nice sunny, sunny morning here in Auckland, and I've picked up a couple of vinyls recently. I mean, it's school holidays, we're off, so bonus. Go out, buy some new records. Great day for us. Playing at the moment, though, we got Pink Floyd's Source of Full of Secrets. Brilliant album. Oh, bollocks. Not again. Sorry about that. First of all, Led Zeppelin, self titled. Absolutely stunning album. What a way to debut. A great career for Zeppelin. And this is a brilliant released in 1969. This is New Zealand pressing up it. its original pretty good condition. Ah, another Zeppelin? The Zeppelin 2. This is another absolutely stunning Zeppelin album. It's personally my favourite Led Zeppelin album. It's got some of their greatest songs on it. Moby Dick, Lemon Song, Bloody A Whole Lot of Love. Absolutely brilliant album. These I picked up just recently, like when I say recently, I mean just the other day. Ooh, well, not just recently, I posted a photo of them recently, but I got them very recently. First of all, we got Rainbow's debut album, it was called Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. Now, this is a great way to start off a very good career, I must say. This is after Blackmore broke off from uh, Deep Purple. In 1975, and he went and started Rainbow with Dio, and great things came out of that, I must say. They released three albums with Dio, along with Rock and Roll, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow, and Rainbow Rising. It's a gatefold. Nice little Blackmore there. This is original New Zealand pressing. Great album. Next, Rainbow Rising, second album. Now, personally, it has one of my favourite Rainbow songs on it, Stargazer. Absolutely love that song. Another original, 1976, year after, so they released three albums in, in succession, 75, 76, and 77. And I have to say, I personally don't think any of the D albums of Rain Rainbow were bad. They were all absolutely brilliant, Stephanie's rock and roll albums. This is another original, New Zealand pressing. Gatefold, nice photo of them all there. Still pretty good nick, a few scratches, but it's worth it though. Now, like I said, we weren't only going to be doing music, so I got a couple of DVDs I picked up here. First of all, we got Dave Gilmore, Remember That Night, Life at the Royal Albert Hall, and I think it was 2006. But for any Floyd fan and David Gilmore solo fan, this is a must see. It's got most of his Floyd hits. It's got really good versions of Echoes and Arnold Lang with David Bowie. It's got all, this is from his On an Island tour, so it's got the entire set list is mostly from his On an Island album. But it's three hours of Gilmore, and it's absolutely a stunning, stunning video. Great concert. Next one. Steve Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble Live from Austin, Texas. Now, for those of you who like kind of blues rock, Stevie Ray, Clapton, great concert. That's one of my personal favourite Stevie concerts. There's absolutely brilliant versions of most of his great songs, Texas Flood, Tight Rope, those kind of things. But, great, absolutely brilliant. Uh, that's sadly it. But we will not be not making videos this holidays. We'll be trying making as many as we can because we'll have more time to go out to the record shops that we love, buy more vinyl, and it'll be absolutely brilliant. Oh, one thing also, a bit obscure, but for those of you who like Jeff's an Aeroplane, great book here. Grace Slick, somebody to love. It's her autobiography of her years with Jeff Aaron as her life. Great read if you're into that kind of stuff. But, that's it. Alright. Have a good week, everyone. Have a good weekend.
I hope everyone's doing well. Just don't forget, like and subscribe, thanks for all your help and making us feel good about ourselves that we're actually being watched. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get a new video up soon. Alright, thanks guys.